When it comes to the medical industry, we've all heard the promise that AI will bring to healthcare. Well, over at the FDA, enter a new internal chatbot called Elsa, designed to try to speed things up like scientific reviews and clinical protocols. But inside the FDA, some seem to be skeptical that Elsa is ready for prime time. According to two NBC News sources, Elsa cannot handle some core functions and even gave flat out wrong summaries about FDA approved products. A spokesperson for HHS has not responded to our request for comment yet, but let's bring in Dr. Kavita Patel. Uh, we've got a lot of questions for uh, Dr. Patel, and AI ones are, are also a, in the medical realm these days. Specifically, like, how is Elsa supposed to help the FDA streamline things? Yeah, it's a great question. I think the intention of ELSA initially is to help with scientific review. A process that can take days to even weeks can be shrunk by ELSA into minutes. But you pointed out, it's not perfect. So you still kind of need a human in the loop to understand where you need to take a little extra time. But going from days to minutes can make a big difference in these reviews. And it's still early on, but where do you see AI actually having the biggest impact on health in the near term here? Yeah, I think that things like ELSA can help with some of these processes that we talk about, just reviewing things in healthcare. I mean, just think about all the paperwork you need to submit just to see a doctor or go through your insurance file a claim. That alone can be an incredibly important place for AI. But I think we're also seeing the possibility, and the FDA is opening this up, that it can also help us with individual pieces of information. We are still short of kind of replacing healthcare professionals with AI, I know that that's been talked about, it's kind of a futuristic state. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that it's probably more realistic now to have AI helping us with a human like me to deal with cases or things that are a little confusing or haven't been validated by the AI. The key with AI is kind of the data that you put in to feed the model. You need a really robust set of data, and that's, I think, what the FDA is learning, and I think that's what the globe is learning about where AI can have a use in healthcare. And, and if I understand this correctly, th this FDA chatbot, there's another one that these are all being used internally at the FDA. All of this is still being beta tested. Uh, it is still the infancy of all of this. But do you foresee a future in which, you know, some of the data that is going in is like our health data? Like you have your own chat GPT doctor in your pocket that knows all of your own stats. And you're like, hey, I'm not feeling great based on everything you know about me. Uh, can you give me a response? Do you think that that's in the foreseeable future here? I do, and I think we're seeing AI, to your point, being used as kind of, I'll call it a health coach, right? So something where, mm -hmm. let's say it's 10 o'clock at night, and normally you would get a phone line that would say, come into the ER, or come into urgent care, and, and not just to distant future, I think we're gonna have like kind of health coaches that are generated by AI, fed by information, not just from us, but from people like me, and then be able to give you the best advice. I think you're pointing out some of the guardrails that we need, that not everything is gonna be perfect, just like advice from a doctor is not perfect, but how can we make sure that there's always a way to check what the AI or the agentic AI is giving you advice on your healthcare? I would like to say that my, my children, there will be a visit that they have where there's probably not a human interaction for a mm -hmm. lot of the basic things, and then as it gets more complicated, that's where you bring the human in. So I don't see it as replacing intelligence. It's just kind of augmenting and making our intelligence a little bit more accessible and hopefully a little smarter. Makes a lot of sense. Can't wait for that day. Thanks so much, Kapita.